Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I'm doing the first of a series that I'm gonna call my wedding series, I think, or I'm not sure what, but it is basically, hold that thought, I feel like my lash is coming off, it is. <laughs> um, it is basically gonna be a series of videos where I do makeup that I'm considering using for my wedding day. So it's mainly gonna be eyeshadow looks because I have no idea what I'm gonna do but I may do some full face videos as well. Before we get into how I got this look, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna know when I upload, turn on your notification bell. I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look, what palettes I used, and tell you why my eyes are watering in just a little bit. So stay tuned and keep on watching. All right guys, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this or not, but I feel like I need to have a log. So these are gonna come out different. They're gonna be like today, just me doing an eye look, or they're gonna come out with me doing a full face. My base doesn't really change, so I'm not worried about that. I've had this face on since this morning because I went to work, but all I have on is mascara and a little bit of concealer on my eyes and bronzer in my crease. So I felt like this would be a good time to try to do a quick little eyeshadow look that I think I might use for the wedding. Right now, I just need to get colors figured out because I don't know how purple I wanna go versus more silver. Our colors are gonna be lavender and silver, so that is where the color scheme is coming from. So right now, I'm just priming my lids with the CoverGirl primer. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of powder under my eyes to catch any fallout if I have any because I am going to be using two brand new, well, one's brand new, the other one I might have used once or twice, I don't know. So I don't know how these are gonna perform. So I'd rather just be safe than sorry. So we're just gonna do that real quick to catch anything that falls. But in case y'all are wondering, on my base right now, I do have, put some more powder on my forehead. I do have the, a combination of the Revlon, they're lightweight. I'll put the name on the screen. I just threw it on this morning to try it. The Revlon Light Cover Foundation and what did I mix with it? Oh, the Minted Cosmetics Foundation Stick in the shade M20, I believe. Face is actually holding up pretty good, but that's not what we're here for. So the two palettes I'm going to use today. I pulled out a Tom Ford. This is the Daydream palette. Still got my brushes in it. I have not used this yet. I have no idea how this is gonna come out. This is what it looks like. Super gorgeous. This color right here is actually a little, it looks like it's a little deeper in person. So I may try to use this whole palette by itself. But if not, I also have this Ace Beauté Paradise Fallen palette. And this has some gorgeous purple shades as well. So yeah, we're gonna start with Tom Ford. I don't know, I feel like, hey, it's gonna be your wedding. You need to use all your fancy schmancy stuff. And then I'm also like, are you really gonna wanna travel with that? That's the other question. So these do not have names on the quad so i'm gonna start off i feel like i need a different transition shade but we'll see i'll start off with this shade here i don't know if i want to do a purple look for the wedding or just have like a little bit of purple in the look to bring everything together but just go like standard glam i feel like it's my wedding day so i shouldn't do anything standard but who knows but so far, I like how these are applying. And like I said, I have not used this yet. So this is also a first impressions. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and see if I can deepen that up some with the same shade. Just see if I apply it with a smaller brush, a little more densely packed if it'll build up. And it, look like, it looks like it is a little bit. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the deeper shade. It almost looks like a blue. And I'm gonna take that on a smaller brush and just try to pack that to build the color. It does come off very blue, and I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that for the wedding, so this is why I want to do this, because I would hate to just B, we're going to the Virgin Islands for the wedding. We're going to do a destination wedding, and I would hate to be in another country and limited options, and I don't like what I have. So we need to figure this out. But right off the bat, this palette by itself, I can tell you it's not going to be it. This look is going to be cute, but it ain't going to be for the wedding. I mean, this is as deep as it's going to get with this palette. I'm gonna go back in with the bigger brush and just blend some more. And then go back with the lighter purple and blend around the edges with that. Colors are blended nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut my crease real quick. I'll do that off camera and then I'll be back. All right, so my crease is cut. I use my NARS eyeshadow base and we are gonna take a flat brush and we're gonna start with this lilac shade down here. I'm actually gonna start that, I probably should use my finger, but we'll see on the outer part. Ooh, that's pretty. It's applying much better than I thought it would. Did not spray my brush. Ooh, that is so pretty. Okay, Tom Ford. I haven't even swatched these colors. I think I swatched one in the video when I showed you guys the haul where I got this. But other than that, nope. They've just been waiting for their turn, their moment to shine. Let me see what my finger does. And y'all excuse my nail. I literally peeled, oh yes, the polish off today while I was at work and I have to bench tonight. So was not about to do my nails for this video and then go to the gym and mess it up. All right, we're gonna leave that like that with that color. Ooh, I might have to eat my words. So now I'm gonna take the silver shade and I'm gonna go on the inner corner with that. Yeah, this one picks up better for sure. They almost kind of look identical. At least that's how it's coming off to me. There's a slight difference, but I feel like the silver one is a lot more opaque. So it's kind of just like overwhelming the purple. I'm gonna take a little bit of the purple that I put in my crease. Just pat that on the outer edges to try to bring some more purple back to this look because I feel like these lighter shades are taking over. If I decided to go with this palette, which I still think I don't, I won't, I would have to bring a black because that outer V is not deep enough to be smoky the way I want it. And this blue is just not gonna give it to me. So, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not what I want. And this is one day where I want to get everything that I want. No sacrifices, no substitutions. And yes, I will be doing my own makeup for my wedding cause I'll be damned if this day, I'm gonna let some stranger come in and mess me up especially being in another country. <laughs> Maybe I need to put some black. Let's do it. I'm gonna take this Ace Beauté palette and I'm gonna take the black in there and just put a little bit of that in the outer corners and see if that helps give me more of what I'm looking for. Yep, I knew it. I don't even need a lot. I'm not even gonna run that all the way in my crease. I just want it on the outer part. And that black is not playing. I'm not dipping back in there. Just 
just a tiny, tiny bit. I feel like that purple shade, the lighter shade, is not coming off. It's just turning more, it feels a little too silver to me, which might be good if I'm trying to not like overpower the purple, so. Oh, I'm a mess. All right. So I'm just going to clean everything up a little bit. I'm going to blend some stuff out. I'm going to put some lashes on and come back and finish my bottom lash line. And then we can see what it looks like. Y'all, I don't even know how long that just took, but it literally almost took me out. Like, <laughs> I tried to use some old magnetic lashes with magnetic liner. It got on my contacts. My eye is still watering. My eyes were red. Contacts thrown away and I just threw on some, a pair of lashes that I had said before were too big, but I think wedding, glam, you gotta go big or go home. So this is what I came up with. I hope y'all don't see like, see like you can see this black appears from the craziness from the liner, but we're just gonna leave it because my eyes are irritated enough. I think this look came out really pretty I don't think it's my wedding look though. Overall, it's a gorgeous look. Tom Ford palette is amazing. I mean, these colors are pigmented, you can't deny it. I do wish that blue was a little darker more towards a black, but I found that to be a case with a lot of his palettes. Like the colors just, I feel like with almost all of them, you're gonna have to pull a color from something else, whether it's a transition or something to deepen it up. That's just how it is. So. This is my final look. This is the first of the wedding series, I guess we'll call it. Trying to figure out what look I'm going to do for my big day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the look, how it turned out. Do you think it's wedding glam or do you think maybe a little too colorful? Need to tone it down. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.